Hello everybody, this is Robin from Caribbean Ways. If this is your first time to our channel, welcome, or if you are returning, thank you for returning and we hope you enjoy our episode today of three things to do in Kingston, Jamaica. First, I would like to mention that I personally have done all three of the things that I am about to describe. I know most people that go to Jamaica are thinking, I wanna go to the beach. However, Kingston is a growing metropolis surrounded by mountains in the north and coastline in the south. Like any major city, Kingston's neighborhoods are very diverse, and while some areas have a reputation for violence, there are other areas that are a major source of inspiration to many artists and musicians, writers, and athletes. Number one, Emancipation Park. Emancipation Park opened on July 31st of 2002, which is the day before Emancipation Day in Jamaica. The Prime Minister PJ Patterson's address to open the park acknowledged the park as a commemoration of the end of slavery. Emancipation Park is set on six acres of beautiful gardens, fountains, and public art. The park is known for the bronze sculpture named Redemption Song, unveiled in 2003 by the artist Laura Facey. The sculpture features a male and female figure gazing into the sky, symbolic of their triumphant rise from the horrors of slavery. Emancipation Park has become a Jamaican landmark and an excellent metaphor in the resilience and strength of the Jamaican people. Number two, the Devon House Mansion Tours. Step back into time to 1881 to learn what life was like when the Stibles called Devon House their home. The Devon House was an architectural dream of George Stibel, Jamaica's first black millionaire. Having gained his wealth from gold mining in South America, George returned to Jamaica and built his house on what later became known as Millionaire's Corner. The Devon House is a beautiful blend of Caribbean and Georgian architecture furnished with an expertly created collection of Jamaican and English and French antiques and reproductions. The mansion overlooks perfectly maintained lush green lawns. Stiebel's legacy lives on with the beautifully maintained Devon House, which was declared a national monument in 1990 by the Jamaican National Heritage Trust. The Devon House has since evolved from being home of Jamaica's first black millionaire to being synonymous with fun family entertainment and recreation where guests can tour, shop, dine, and relax. The Devon House offers a beautiful venue for weddings, photo shoots, corporate and special events, and even a kid's zone for birthday parties. Don't miss the Devon House ice cream. I tried it and it was amazing. Number three. Life Yard. On the corner of Fleet and Berry Street in downtown Kingston is a Rastafarian urban farm known as Life Yard. Life Yard is an uplifting community project in an area of downtown Kingston, which is historically known for gang related crime and violence. A group of Rastafarians created Life Yard, which has a farm to table restaurant on site offering vegan and vegetarian dishes. Life Yard is an uplifting community project in an area of downtown. The founders of Life Yard explicitly had tourism in mind from the start of the project, wanting to promote the inner city and show it to tourists. They have succeeded welcoming thousands of visitors and tourists from all around the world. The proceeds are reinvested in the community in the form of skills training, sessions, art classes, and teaching inner city youth to become farmers themselves. They grow fresh fruits and vegetables and provide a safe place for children to come after school where they receive help with homework, they learn gardening, arts, and participate in music. When you visit the Life Yard, be sure to ask for a tour of the colorful murals across the street which are a product of the Paint Jamaica initiative. Paint Jamaica was launched in 2014 by Marion Farag, a French visitor to the island, along with a group of Jamaican artists who decided to get together and bring art to the streets of Kingston. 
With over 20 walls to paint, Paint Jamaica launched a social media campaign with an open call for artists to be a part of the adventure, providing that their murals were positive in nature. They quickly transformed an abandoned place into a landmark, attracting thousands of visitors, including Tessan Chin and Chronix, who are said to spontaneously have visited. In conclusion, if you go to Jamaica, consider a couple of days in Kingston before heading through the amazing Blue Mountains to your beach destination. Thank you again for watching Caribbean Ways. If you found our content helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, hit the bell so that you'll be notified of future videos we have coming up of our Caribbean lifestyle and hotel spotlights. With Caribbean Ways, we will show you the ways. Caribbean ways. Caribbean ways.